Hi guys, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Ledger Nano X. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And with recording this video, I'm enjoying the 75th by Felice Creek Vineyard. It's their Cabernet. It actually drinks more like, I would say, a Merlot. Um, not as punchy though, but it still has the, the character notes of a cab. Um, not a bad price point at wine and more that I got this past week. But anyways, uh, back to the video and cheers. All right, first things you're gonna do here is you're gonna hop on into your Ledger Live app and make sure to put in your password. It's then gonna start uh, synchronizing here at the very top as you can see, but we're gonna come on down to my Ledger and then we're going to plug in our Nano X. Apologize for you guys not being able to see what I'm actually doing in my hands with the Harbor wallet, but you get the picture. So then next step here is we're going to put in our security pin, that, that four digit pin or six digit pin, eight digit pin, whatever you selected on. Um, and we're going to make sure we put this in correctly and then we'll go from there. And once we put that pin in, it'll then say allow ledger manager. So push both buttons on the left and the right to accept. It's then going to open up all the accounts and everything that we have on that Nano X. It will show you at the top here that uh, currently we're outdated with 2.0.2. 2.1.0 is available now for us to update. All right, and then you could also see here if you wanted to that, oh, Solana needs to be updated. Um, so let's go ahead and do first the firmware. Do update firmware. You're gonna see all the information on what is inside this new feature. Go ahead and do, I have my recovery phrase and continue. It's then going to download the update before it installs it. So let's go ahead and download it here first. All right, so now it says that we do have this new firmware installed. Toggle to the right, and then you're gonna see confirm update with a check mark box at the top. Click on both buttons on your hardware wallet to uh, select it. So then it'll say it's processing. It's restarting your ledger. You're gonna have to put in your four to eight digit pin that you have selected. Go ahead and do that and then accept it. And then, just like before in other videos I've done for you, you need to reinstall your app, so go ahead and do reinstall. All right, then go back to your hardware wallet. It'll say allow a secure connection with Ledger. Click both buttons to accept. All right, so you can see that it's now in process. It is now updating, at this case, Bitcoin right now. Ethereum will be next. I can show you some other apps that I have on this. Well, I guess not right there, not at this, at this time. Um, we come back here, you can see Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot. So I've got a couple of different applications on the hardware wallet that you can see uh, what is being updated at this time. And so we'll go through every one. It's pretty fast, pretty simple, but let's give it a, a bit of time here. So it's got two of the five. Now we're going on to Ethereum. All right, and everything is updated as you can see right now. So we've got all our different apps that have been updated. We also have our firmware at 2.1.0 and we are good to go. So you can also come back here, you can see all the different apps that you have available. Like I've mentioned in other videos, if you wanna add another account, just come right here. But I'm not doing that today for the video. I just wanted to show you how to quickly update your firmware, which is right there and then also get your apps updated on your Ledger Nano X. All right, and that is how you update your Ledger Nano X. Hopefully that was helpful for you, really simple and to the point. Once I get my background studio here figured out, things will be much better, but until that time, guys, I appreciate you hanging with me here as I show you how to quickly update your hardware wallet. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to do my best to help you out. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video so that other people know that this is valuable content as well. If you have any questions, one more time, put them in the comment section below. But until then, guys, I will see you when I see you.